Welcome back to the channel. If you can't tell, I'm really excited, and there's a big reason why I'm excited. We've got the Garmin Instinct 2 Solar Tactical in. Have Garmin done it? Have they got the Ultimate Instinct watch? I think they have, and uh, you'll see why. I'll see you really shortly. So guys, today we're gonna to be talking about the Garmin Instinct Solar Tactical or Soltac as I like to call it. Now this is the Mark II version of the Instinct and I had the Mark I version as you know if you uh, just check up here on the uh, right hand side of the screen um, you can link to that video if you're interested in that watch. Uh, the Garmin Instinct is a really rugged outdoors watch but Garmin have really invested in this watch. It's got a massive cult following now and uh, certainly from my perspective it's massively earned my respect in regards to as a very rugged outdoor watch and a tool. So when I found out about Garmin releasing the version 2, um, I was super excited. I've had this watch now about a week. Um, I'm really loving it. Um, it has got a really nice display. Um, it's much like the old one. It's a black and white, always on display. Uh, you can turn it off to save power. Um, but what you'll know straight off the bat is the actual design of the watch and certainly for the tactical ones is um, It's really nice. They've uh, rounded off the edges the buttons have got a really nice texturing to them and uh, Nicely on this uh, right hand side of the watch. They've actually moved the sensor placement here So um, it's not going to get gunky or dirty. This is actually your uh, barometer and altimeter there right next to the buttons a little bit higher out of the way and saves you having to clean it all the time but um, on this side it's actually now a lot rounder and um, aesthetically the watch just looks um, just looks badass really if I'm honest um, now as this is a tactical version this has some very special features now you might have seen at the start there um, I activated the kill switch so we're going to do it now and I'm going to switch it off very quickly because I don't want it to wipe the watch so we can uh, show you the rest of the features but if I was to leave this as it was it literally would wipe the watch and wipe all my data, wipe all personal data and basically if you uh, had the need to uh, remove any particular information, some waypoints, the route you took to a certain location, uh, whether you're doing some sort of tactical operations, that kill switch would be key. Now there's another little feature here, um, it's a little stealth bomber um, picture there and um, it's pretty pretty sweet. So if I press and hold this top button here, you've got a, a number of features here that you can customize to your heart's delight. You can have your phone connection. Um, with the Garmin Instinct 2 solar versions, and obviously this is solar and tactical, so it's extra, extra good. Um, you have got um, Garmin Pay. So uh, depending on where you are, this may or may not work for your region and your smart device. So uh, check on their website for that. It does work for me. It's fantastic. You can uh, touch and pay after you put in your password and uh, it means you don't have to have your, your wallet with you. So that's really cool. 
Now, going back to the uh, stealth bomber. So if I click and turn that on, and obviously kind of Batman mode now, what that means for the watch itself, it's not tracking us. So we can use all the features, we can use the navigation, we can use the um, any of the activities, uh, jump master, all those kind of things. But at the end of your activity, it won't save and it won't even log it. If you are doing something that's tactical, this is gonna be something really important for you. Plus, of course, you've got the kill switch. Now, you did see there, you've got jump master. I am not a jump master expert at all. Um, personally, I've never had to use it. Um, I've not done any static line or high open or high altitude, low open or anything like that. But if you have to use it, it's there. It's present on the um, Fortrex 601 and 701 series. And because this is a tactical, um, this obviously has it, but the actual jump master features are only present on very few of the actual uh, tactical watch line. So um, if you want those features, you want those tactical features, you are gonna have to uh, unfortunately pay the extra money, but I think they are quite worth it. Um, I love the stealth feature. Now you saw before that um, you had some greeny blue image. That wasn't my camera just going completely nuts. That's actually uh, my night vision. So you can activate night vision. Now basically what that does, that affects the backlight on the watch. The watch is actually very good at dealing with uh, the amount of ambient light and enabling a really good clean readout. So when night vision mode's on, it dims the screen down so it's just low enough that a, a night vision device, you can still read and operate it without being really bright and obvious. So, so far I found that to be really excellent when using my night vision. Um, I'm able to re read the uh, display clearly and also really at night, um, it's so dim that even if you weren't wearing night vision, it makes the screens just, just bright enough so you can pick out the uh, features of the watch. But also there, um, it doesn't give your position away if you were uh, doing something a little bit sneaky. You don't want that bright light from white light source. So a uh, really good feature there, night vision. Um, you do have all of Garmin's extra features like emergency assistance so that can be activated automatically. Um, you have sunrise, moon, um, different time zones, timers, you name it, this does it. it has full smartwatch features. Um, you also have, obviously it's solar, uh, solar charging on the device. So um, that's a really cool feature. Garmin say this can run with unlimited battery power. Um, I haven't been able to test that, but so far in my experience, just using the watch, just normally, um, the battery life seems fantastic. Um, I almost keep kidding myself because it says here 28 days and I've got the heart rate on and I've had a phone connection on and things like that. Uh, and it's obviously tracking me and tracking my steps and um, that's fantastic with all those features on and definitely with the the uh, second series of these Garmin watches, Garmin do say they've ha they've improved the battery life, the uh, memory performance um, and obviously this made the watch a little bit more refined and better. The actual display is improved over the other one. I'm not sure if you're gonna um, quite notice it. For me, it just seems like it's got a better level of detail. So it's a slight improvement. Um, it seems clearer. Uh, and to be fair, even reading it now with the different kind of lighting that I've got in my studio, um, it's just a really good clean readout. Now, another really cool feature of this, apart from all the awesome navigation and tactical features, um, I think if you want to have a look at those sort of features, have a look at my previous video. Now you do have Garmin's super, super fancy uh, Gen 4 heart rate sensor. And it does also give you uh, blood ox as well. So that can be really good if you're training uh, and you're trying to improve your um, aerobic performance. This is going to help you out. So let's go through a couple of these features. If you press down on either of the two buttons here on the left side, it goes into glances. Now it's a bit of a different departure away from Garmin's previous uh, widgets. So there still are widgets as they call them. So little apps within the actual device itself. But what I really love about these glances, you can literally scroll down, see your notifications, see calories, last sport. You've got weather features. You've got um, also as it tracks the solar as well. So you can see how much the battery is charging. Um, it's got temperature, it's got the full um, ABC features. So altimeter, barometer and compass, which I will show you. Does your steps, heart rate. It does so many things, it does sleep tracking. And like I said, does pulse ox. So uh, ABC, it's the same as before. You just press and hold and all of these buttons are user configurable. So you can change them. And um, you know, if you want to put a set of buttons differently, like the kill switch, you want to turn it off, you want to use a different button, 
it's absolutely no problem. You can you can literally change everything on this watch. So for me at the moment, that's the barometer there. We've got nice high pressure here in the UK, and you can also um, graph this from six to 48 hours. So it's really good if you want to watch a weather system. Clicking down, you've got your standard compass. Uh, compass obviously calibrates itself. You can calibrate it as well. Mindset to automatic, seems pretty good. And you've got the altitude there, finally through those options. So that's always there, you can change that. Uh, any one of these buttons can be used for different things. So uh, for example, if I press and hold this, depending on your GPS lock, this should do me my uh, dual grid and you can set this up. Um, I've got mine in British format and uh, standard GPS. I will blur this, but this is my uh, GPS grid here. So it gives me my top in uh, standard and the bottom in British format, but you can change it to whatever you want should you see fit, so uh, it's pretty cool. You can obviously save that, you can make that a waypoint, uh, you can make that a point of interest, so uh, all of the options there are available for you, and it's uh, super useful. So, um, what else does it do? Well, it does quite a lot. I've mentioned about Garmin Pay, mentioned about some of the stealth features there. Um, overall, I think really the watch is just, it's just damn good looking. Now, on the tactical version, you don't have quite so many color options as you would do on the other ones because you've got different editions like surf and um, camo uh, and all sorts for the tactical version itself I think it I think the tactical one looks best personally but I'm a tactical guy so I'm probably a little bit biased but you've got it in like a nice tan color and you've got the awesome black now um, I think black is the way to go because it's just nice and subtle and subdued one other thing that I really love that um, Garmin have brought to this watch is watch faces and being able to change them. Now, they've introduced these being user changeable and user customizable. So you can ch you can change all the data on the face there, no problem at all, really easy. Um, but now you can download different ones. So I've just changed it there to a slightly more simple. And of course, you can make it really plain and basic if you want to, if you want to be really low key. Uh, or go a bit more fancy there with uh, kind of an analog display or even fake G-Shock which I think is really cool it's even got like the digital display out there where it's slightly greyed out can you see that? it's pretty sweet uh, and then you've got all different kinds of colour modes here black and white, heart rate it's obviously reading my heart rate from my finger it's pretty sensitive different modes and you can change all of these you can change how they read out um, you can have different displays also for uh, different time zones and all kinds of stuff I mean you can really 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 adjust this watch to your heart's content so really uh, in essence Garmin have done a fantastic job upgrading the instinct to uh, now this more badass instinct 2 and certainly for the tactical editions um, I just think it just looks fantastic it's got all the activity features that you could possibly want plus all of the tactical features um, you've got the standard Garmin connector there for charging it works really well um, I've got no complaints and uh, in general really they have done a fantastic job so so far um, I really recommend this watch um, it is a bit more money than the standard instinct so if you are looking to save some money uh, and you don't need solar then the new instinct 2 is a really good watch if you're looking to save even a bit more money um, and you're happy to lose some of the other features that I mentioned like the uh, the better battery life and the uh, better heart rate sensor then even the instinct 1 is a fantastic option so guys that's pretty much it that's the instinct 2 solar tack or solar tactical edition it's a really great watch I really love using it um, if you're interested in seeing a little bit more from this watch do let me know in the comments section if you want me to sort of dive into a really detailed review of it and the features or anything you want me to explain just uh, drop me a message or find me on Instagram um, exactly the same alpha pews but as always guys I really appreciate you watching this video um, if you like this video just give it a like and uh, if you want to stay up to date with the late things we got going on just hit that subscribe button. Guys, take care and I'll see you on the next one.